more than 50 years, Dan Dolan has pursued a career in both commercial and residential real estate. I was born on a farm in western Minnesota, near the little town of Milroy, Minnesota. When I first uh, told my father-in-law that I was thinking about going into real estate, he questioned my judgment. In 1968, he opened Dan Dolan Realtors with four agents. That quickly grew to 115 sales agents and seven offices. He was a residential real estate um, owner, CEO, and he got into developing, and uh, that was new for him. He was a pioneer in the hiring of women as sales associates. At the time, there were only five women actively working in the business in St. Paul. Ginger Overby, what a classic. I went to the Children's Hospital Ball with my husband, Jack, and there next to our table was Dan Dolan and his cute wife, Joni. I feel somebody behind me, and it's, this lady comes up and says, I'm Ginger Overby. And I said to him, would he talk to me about maybe me becoming a realtor? He saw a need in the business that wasn't being fulfilled, and that was women uh, in the residential real estate um, area where he was working at the time. Here's an excellent opportunity to get another highly qualified, very well educated lady to be on my staff. I hired her as quick as I could. He gave women the opportunity to work and to excel. Back in the 70s, women did not excel at business very much and it was uh, industry dominated by men. Why aren't there more women selling to women? Uh, they have a sense of empathy and connect with uh, the other women because they were making the decision. And, uh, and I think he was right on. He did tell me that time that I only had to work part time. And that is the biggest fallacy I've ever lived with <laughs> because I believed him and you don't sell real estate part-time. Either you do it or you don't. Dan's real estate developments include the Oakdale Crossing Business Park, and most notably, the Evergreen Community, an upscale residential development in Woodbury. Had to be at least 100,000 evergreen trees on the property when I bought it. And uh, believe it or not, I paid a uh, marketing expert money to come up with the name Evergreen, if you can believe that. Evergreen was a, a key because he saw 3M executives coming into town uh, that were living in Edina and he would say they're driving into the sun in the morning and they're driving into the sun on the way home. Why aren't they living closer to the headquarters? I found it by uh, uh, joining another 3M friend and customer and uh, going out to the site to cut our own Christmas tree. And when I saw it, I thought it would be absolutely perfect to put some expensive homes in there to accommodate newly transferred executives coming into 3M. Dan was a leader in improving the professional and ethical standards in real estate. He was a stickler for ethical behavior with very high standards in how he conducted his business. I wouldn't have the job if we didn't maintain our ethics. Dan had integrity. He taught us to be honest, to be persistent, to pick yourself up. I liked the rules of law and I liked ethics as they're practiced and should be. And I just carried that through my entire life. It takes a lifetime to build your reputation and five minutes to ruin it. So. Don't think of yourself, think of everyone that came before you and after you. Dan attracted good people to work with and for him. He never lost his enthusiasm for living a full life, his interest in new things and love of real estate. The real estate industry has some of the most promising, exciting careers. Every day he would, I remember him saying, today is another day in which to excel. And he would get fired up and give himself pep talks. He was just a good mentor. He was there, and uh, he was a motivator. I was self-motivated. I didn't need any motivation. I had five kids in a big house, and 
couple cars and a woman that uh, liked nice things. And Dan was also active in the St. Paul Winter Carnival and served as both Prime Minister and King Boreas. I was asked to be the king in the carnival starting in February 1978. It was a good experience for me, really. I got to stand up and speak in front of at least 300 gatherings in the year. And it helped me manage a real estate company, to be honest with you. And I'm very proud of my dad and the accomplishments he's he's had in his business career. Please congratulate Dan Dolan, 2015 award recipient of the Minnesota Real Estate Hall of Fame.